so hi friends and welcome to a new session so today we are gonna learn basics to python so uh, i'm gonna make you learn make you understand this with the help of slides and uh, examples made in visual studio code by me so let's get started so first of all let's go in my let's go and look at the look out the slides so here's the slide open display this so uh, so first of all please subscribe to my channel you can uh, please uh, means you can also use the Q or to subscribe you can also use the QR code given below and don't forget to hit that bell icon from that you will get the latest updates on my tech videos so what does a computer do that sounds like a dumb question but uh, seriously, a in reality, a computer only performs calculations and remembers things. So, types of knowledge. So, there are two types of knowledge. Uh, imperative knowledge and declarative knowledge. Imperative knowledge is... Uh, imperative knowledge tells us how to do something. Means it tells us how to... Uh, how to make something means it's just like a recipe for example if my mother sees me to go to the kitchen open the fridge bring the milk from it that is imperative knowledge but uh, while on the other hand declarative knowledge it is a statement of fact fact for example uh, if my father sees me to bring a chilled water bottle I, I don't know from where will I bring the chilled water bottle I need to figure it out myself so, Im uh, imperative knowledge is used in pro uh, is used by programmers when when they do coding in pro um, is used by programmers. And declarative knowledge is used in robots, and imperative knowledge is used in programs. So, primitive constructs in programming. So, there are three primitive constructs in programming: string, simple operators, and number variables. So to do coding in python you need to have visual studio code in your computer obviously so i have also given the link over here from which if you hit this link you will be on the website from where you can download visual studio code so you need if you download a uh, visual studio code for python you need to also install the python support so i have also given the link over here you can just hit this link on the screen and go to the website so things that we are going to learn this demo so we are going to learn variables numbers if else for loop while loop iterate iterators or uh, dates and arrays so variables so uh, uh, so in other languages like in other programming languages we need to uh, like in other programming languages python doesn't has any uh, doesn't has anything like declare declaring a string or a string declaring a variable sorry so numbers so there are three types of numbers in python programming language integers float and complex so loops so there are two types of loops for loop and while loop for loop can exec uh, for loop uh, executes a set of statements only once but uh, while on the other hand while loop executes a statements as long as the condition is true so iterator so just think that iterator is just like um, you can understand it's just like uh, it is an object that contains a countable number of values and it is like me running something means like uh, it is also you it is used in for loop like when you go on when you see that how for loop works iterate uh, iterators have a lot of hand in that that means to make a work of for loop you need to you it means iterator is used in that so python collections in uh, python programming language there are four collection of arrays list tuple uh, dictionary and set so we are done with our slides so now let's move to our uh, examples which are made in visual studio code
um, examples.py. So first of all, vary. So friends, here are examples. So my first topic is variables. So here we have x as a variable and the value is untrue and z as a variable and the value is 1. So let's move to our next topic, which is numbers. So x equals to 1. This is an integer. y equals to 1.0. This is a float and float is always in the form of decimal, even if it's a whole number. And w equals to 1j. This is a complex number. So get the character at the position 1. Remember, uh, so if you want to have the character, it, so like the untrue is my string and I want to have the character which is at the first position of this string. So if I ask you that which character has, is uh, in this string, which character has the first position? So most of you will say that A, but no. A has the position 0 and N has the position 1. So let's try it. And I have written over here print K because uh, K has the uh, K is equals to unshoe means K is the variable which has the value unshoe. And 1 means the character at the position 1. Means display the character which is at position 1 to the user. Oh, sorry. I forgot to open the terminal. I'm sorry. Open in terminal. Okay, so to run your code in Python, you need to write Python and name of your file, which uh, the name of my file is examples. So I will write examples dot py. Enter. So you can see over here it is displayed to me n as I told you that n is, uh, is at the first character of this string. So let's move to our next character, uh, next uh, topic which is tuple. So tuple is a part of Python array collection. So my tuple. So in my tuple I have my tuple is my tuple. So I have in my tuple I have three strings Anshu, Tanya and Kritika. And over here, I've written print my tuple. Uh, so I am uh, print my tuple. I am asking means uh, I am displaying my co uh, this part of my tuple to the user. So let's write Python examples dot py. And, uh, you can see over here it is written Anshu, Tanya, and Kritika. So let's move to our next topic, which is dictionary. So over here, I've made a dictionary, this dict, and I, 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 over here, I have two keywords, name and friend, uh, both are strings, and I have given value to, means meaning to them, Anshu and Khushi. So uh, dictionary is also part of uh, the arrow list collection in Python, and over here, I'm written, written print this dict. So, Python examples. So let's try. We are trying it out. Examples dot py. Enter. So where you can see it is written name Anshu friend Koshi. So let's move to our next topic, which is if else. So over here I have two variables and I have given the value to them u is equals to 33 and g is equals to 200. So I have given a condition over there that over here sorry if g is greater than u then print g is greater than u. So let's try this out. That means that if the condition is true then print g is greater than 2. Sorry u. Let's try this out. Python examples dot py g is greater than you. You can see it is written over, displayed to me over here. So now our next topic is while loop. So over here I have given a value to i. i is equal to 1. And I have written over here that while i is 
means 11 is greater than i sorry what i did a mistake sorry sorry so while 11 is greater than i then print i and i plus equals to 1 that means keep keep running the counter now let's try it out why and so you can see over it it is all written over here six seven eight nine ten it will be also written over here that five four three two one so let's move to our next topic which is for loop so over here i've made a for loop over here cars in which i have three strings over here volvo swift and bmw for x in cars in this i have written that uh run a for loop in cars and print x so let's just try this out Python examples dot py enter so where you can see it is written Volvo Swift and BMW so let's move to our next topic which is array so I have array over in in which my array is goals in which I have three strings Anshu, Tanya and Kritika so print goals in which I am asking means I am printing this array to the user means goals to the user print goals so let's try this out <laughs> Then examples dot py and Anshutanya and Kritika. It was written over here. Anshutanya and Kritika print this array. So let's move to our next topic, which is iterators. Uh, so in uh, so I, over here I've made a tuple, my tuple, and in that I have three. Uh, strings apple banana cherry and over I have given my it means it's my iterator and it my tuple means iterate my tuple and print next my it means apple print apple print next my it means print the next string in my tuple print the next string in my tuple so let's try this out Python Samples dot py enter. So where you can see it is written apple first print my it, then second banana, then third is print next my it cherry. So let's uh, move to our next topic, which is dates. Means uh, so I I am importing the date and time right now. So import date and time x equals to date time dot date time dot now means the date time uh, which is now right now and print x means whatever the code has imp imported printed to the user so let's try this out python examples dot py enter so it is written over here 2018 11 4 7 three it's the time in 24 hour clock so let's move to one so our next topic is quite interesting because it is a part of file handling so over here i have f is open demo text file which are so i over here i have a demo text file in which it is written hello welcome to demo text file this file is only for testing purposes good luck so in when i will uh, just run this code means this code written over here i will see what uh, whatever is written inside demo text file because i have given a command over here that print f dot read so i have written over here f open demo text file read means r is equal to read so print f dot read means print whatever 
the code as read red sorry so let's try this out python example dot py enter so here uh, you can see hello welcome to demo text file this is the file oh, this file is only for testing purposes good luck the same thing is written in demo text file because i have asked the code to print whatever it, uh, the code has read in the file so thanks for watching the video don't forget to like subscribe and share and for any queries you can ask it in my comment box or on my github account which is anshu tech thank you